Welcome to our second match on Monday Night Starbird number 21. This is the round of eight. In the bottom left corner, the red Swedish? I'm pretty sure he's Swedish. Terran player. It is Dirty Bag. And in the up, upper left hand corner, the up upper left hand corner, as opposed to the upper left hand corner, playing as the green Zerg, it is Franscar from Team Buv best Starbo clan in existence because it's the only one. <clears throat> there were some other Starbo clans that uh, tried to get off the ground but just didn't happen. I think they're going to be the uh, the worst friends or something like that. <laughs> the worst <laughs> friend <ever laughs> clan. So these are two of our uh, preeminent Starbo players here. France Gart and Dirty Bag have both taken home a decent amount of prize money over the, uh, over the years playing Starbo. By years I mean like Maybe slightly more than a year. <laughs> yeah, a single year. Yeah, year plus. Uh, France Gart, generally a Zerg player, does play some P um, against the Zerg, though, when, rather than play the ZVZ matchup, because a lot of Zerg players don't play the ZVZ <laughs> matchup. We do say he's going to be going for the hatch first. Uh, Dirty Bag usually does play Terran whenever he's playing um, in tournaments, but I, I've seen him play some other races as well. He does try to play all of them. Uh, but Terran, I believe, is definitely his best race. So actually, I I have not... Um, I don't feel like I haven't seen Dirty Bag play in a while, actually. I think... Did he play in your in Eurobo Friday? Because um, I have not seen all of Eurobo yet. I still haven't Yeah, I, I haven't it. seen it either. I couldn't tune in on Friday. Yeah. So I, I... Chat, don't give me any spoilers or anything like that. All I know... I've only seen like the first match or two, actually. I still got quite a bit to watch. I get a chance. I was gone this weekend. Okay, so we do see the gas in the pool coming up here for Franscar. Nothing out of the nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing and really to indicate anything, but a pretty quick low ground expansion from Dirty Bag actually. Does he have any Marines out? I don't think he does. No, no Marines. He who, who needs Marines? And I believe he was planning to throw that down before he's his SCV even saw that Franscar was going hatch first. It, the SCV might have arrived at the same time, and that's when he threw it down, but. It looks like that was what he was wanting to do the whole time. I mean, there's no gas. He didn't build any Marines. This looks like something the Dirty Bag's like, you know what? I'm going CC first on the low ground. Because well, got balls of titanium. Oh, oh well, yeah, not first. CC. Barracks not, not, CC. Yeah. You can't be that greedy. Yeah. A somewhat naked command center. But, yeah, not not exactly first. Sorry. I was exaggerating the situation. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but we do have Marines on the way, uh, rallying to the low ground to protect said command center. Probably gonna see a bunker in the semi near future. Yep, does have the mineral sport right now, but he um, not not spending it yet. Okay, gonna send his SCVs down there, do a little worker transfer, and yeah, I'm sure we're gonna see a bunker here. It would and Franskar, extremely ballsy Fr not to. Oh, Frank Franskar scouting out. He doesn't know about this uh, extremely risky roll ground commencer, so the circling's gonna find that out in just a few moments. Uh, Zergling speed's on the way, and uh, the wear is halfway done. Yeah, this is actually, a really late scout stops. here, actually, and actually the Zergling stops. Has France car seen anything yet? Uh, yeah, no, he has, uh, I mean, he found out where his opponent was, but that was it. So, I don't know that he has any indication of this, and he's going to go be going into a quick layer and a Hydra Den, actually. So, looks like we will see, most likely, a, a Lurker play here. And we have Stim on the way for the, uh, Dirty Bag player. <laughs> this is a dirty, dirty bag. All right, and another barracks can move. So it looks like we're going to see that uh, normal, uh, mostly Marines to open style here from Dirty Bag, which could work out well for Franscar. Franscar, um, if he is going to be going for Lurkers, which he is, Lurker Den is now starting. Lurkers do pretty well against Bio. So it could get a pretty good contain here uh, on Dirty Bag if we can get some Lurkers here into this position outside of this bunker. Maybe even go for the run by. Um, that, would that actually could definitely work. We don't have any kind of wall up here at the top of the ramp. If you were to get a bunch of Lurkers, uh, he could honestly just bypass his bunker right now. I mean, he obviously doesn't have the Lurkers or the Hydras or anything yet. Uh, and Dirty Bag has plenty of time to get a wall up if he so chooses. We do see a, a distant third hatchery coming up for Franscar. I wouldn't that, say it's... Uh, well, it's, it's kind of hidden. I don't, I don't know if they can just take the right turn, though, because you kind of do expect this Zerg to have a third. You just yeah, the, the thing is that it's just very far away from the Terran player. So the re that's the main reason for taking that one as opposed to this one. Uh, this base is going to be easier to defend, of course, but uh, this third is just so far away from Terran. It's a long way to have to push across the map there. 
if um, you know various Zerg forces are going to be picking away on the way. And we do see a small move out here from Dirty Bag, but the Lurkers will be finished in time. Uh, well, I think they're going to... Well, actually, he, no, he he's going to go ahead and scan. Okay, he's going to have to delay with his Lings here. He needs to get these uh, Lurkers finished here. And oh, He may be able to take him out, actually. Maybe, uh, probably... He's going to get to burrow as soon as they hatch. All right. And he, okay, the Lurkers do drop down. And now they're going to try to get into a better position. Okay, and the Spine Crawler is coming up here. So Franscar should be relatively safe here. But that was a very close timing there. Dirty Bag almost got in yeah. there just in time. But Franscar just manages to get those Lurkers out. So really nice uh, sense there from both players. Yeah, and Dirty Bag looks like he's going to go ahead and try to find the third. He's probably going to scout the uh, normal third, which yep. he is, but he's going to find and nothing now, there. And now he's got uh, got these Zerg forces coming up on top of him. All right, one shot does come off from the Lurkers. And we do have an overward speed and overward transport on the way as well. We right. could see some worker drops, and that would make me really excited. Now, Franskar is very safe here. This third, he does have two lurkers here on the high ground, right above the ramp. So these marines will not be able to get up in there very safely. So they're going to try to nope. run their way up there. Ooh, the carnage does lose three marines here. And now the uh, the ling and lurker forces should be enough to clean up this expeditionary force for Dirty Bag. Behind this, we do see that the starports are on the way. We've got some tanks coming out, upgrades, medics, a little bit of everything here for Dirty Bag. Not really putting uh, all of his eggs in one basket. He's starting to make a s small mech transition, then also going up to that starport. We're going to want to have uh, science vessels here sooner or later, because it's never a bad idea to have science vessels. Especially really. versus Zerg, where they have a ability which says, destroy target Zerg unit, and a few that happen to cluster around it. <laughs> Pretty much. That's the idea. So here we do see this little contain here from Franskar. The lurkers right outside of the Terran Natural. Although, uh, Dirty Bag is getting some tanks out. Now, does he have Siege Mode yet? No, he does not. He does not have Siege Mode. So those tanks won't be too useful yet. Uh, but I'm sure that he will start working on that here relatively soon. Now, the nice thing about this Overlord here for Franskar, uh, Dirty Bag hasn't scanned or anything to try to try to catch this Overlord and get rid of it. So, Franskar is able to see every time that Dirty Bag pushes out or, or really moves any of his uh, army across the map. And then he's also got... <laughs> Three overlords checking for the Terran uh, third base too. So, I'm imagining they're for like for the drop play in the future, but it's probably not it, sadly. Yeah. And if you look, Franskar really has um, some pretty nice map vision. He also has a Zergling at the third. Well, speaking of drops, we have a drop. We have a uh, two uh, two overlords with workers and one with lings. So total four workers and eight Zerglings. Looks like some and more lings want to get into the overlords, but we're clicking the wrong ones. <laughs> So this could do pretty good damage. This portion of Dirty Bag's base is completely unscouted, so Dirty Bag ha would not have any idea that these units are in his base until they are fully landed, and there are lurkers heading towards his mineral line. You have to throw down a couple barracks here, but still lots of space here for Franskar. And scan scans the front, so it looks like he's going to try to move out, and uh, Franskar recognizes this and pulls back. Yep, now it does have the, uh, the tanks and the science vessels. Now as the uh, Terran forces move out, that's when Franskar is going to come in here with the drop, Meantime, he could just continue to run his units away slowly, trying to draw that Terran army towards well, his base. In the meantime, here come the here come the oh, units. The lurkers a little slow to burrow though. Don't get the money hits off, but gonna be doing a lot of damage here to this Terran base. Oh, the SUVs! Oh, now he's gonna try to get a little bit of a surround here. The Lings try oh. to engage first though, unfortunately. All those SUVs are almost dead. Oh wow, those SUVs! What were they doing? Going back? Oh my word! I almost missed that. Oh, I did miss that. Okay, but at the t same time, Dirty Bag is going to try to push in here. There are a couple of lurkers here. There is a science vessel. Now, does it have an irradiate? Uh, I don't think uh, the irradiate ever finished research researching yet. it. No, I don't know if he ever started it, actually. The lurkers are ransacking Dirty Bag's base. Dirty Bag is going to be in an all-in position oh, here relatively soon. And here comes the surround. The lurkers coming on top of everything. Tanks taking out down. all the tanks. Instantly. The tanks are gone. It's all and just bio course. here against the lurkers. Lurkers burrowing. Very quick bro. Oh, they're just gonna move. They don't care. They're gonna move right into the yeah, base. Yeah, these these marines are not long for this world. Here come the lurkers once again. The marines are just gonna try to get as much damage done as they possibly can. But these lurkers are just not gonna die to this kind of marine fire. Meanwhile, in the main base, things are dying. Lots of things are dying. Yeah, lots of things he, are dying. He is he is about to clean it up, but oh. there's still four workers, and the command center did go down that whole entire process. And. Looks oh, he like did he lose it? it or, no, I think... Was this one a third that he had built? The one that's floating back? I thought yeah, that, that he that's just the third. 
Oh, that was the so, third, huh? So he did lose a command center. Oh, wow. That's pretty rough spot for Dirty Bag now. He's actually down 13 supply to his Zerg opponent, which is a pretty tough situation to be in. I feel like Zerg usually is behind in supply in most matchups. Um, so when you're behind the Zerg and he's got a third and you're barely mining, you're just now <laughs> going to start mining from your main again. We have a lot of links and Lurkers outside of the natural. Uh, without much here, a few Marines, a couple Medics, one, what, one tank? The science Vessel in the main. Not really much here to defend, and it looks like Francis is going to go for the drop again. Why bother with these bunkers and the Siege tank at the front when you can just drop once again? And that and is a huge drop. And behind the drop, he's he already got his hive done, he's getting the fireworks, getting adrenal glands, and Zerg Carapace too, so this isn't certainly all in by any means. He has a, quite the follow -up. Yep. Oh, where are these overlords going, actually? Wait, maybe? Maybe not? Oh, here's a science pencil just roaming the map. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was just going to wait and try to load up more. Or he wants to get a little bit of a contain here on the natural. Just to make sure the dirty bag doesn't just retaliate. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, what are these guys shooting over here? Trying to shoot the overlord? Or Do you have a scan? I don't know where the scan went off, but I heard it. Went off somewhere. Oh, and these poor medics are just standing in the middle on healing all the SCVs that got damaged. Oh no. <laughs> That's not a, not the best use of energy. So Franskar just doing a little scouting here with his uh his overlord trying to drop some drop some creep. Uh that's just BM man. That is BM. And right, there's quite a, a few lot lurkers of out here. At the front. Yeah. Uh and Dirtybag recognizes it's at their own bird, he's gonna move out, and Francis is gonna quickly pull back, but I wonder if the drop's gonna and this is when the yep, drop moves here in. Here comes the drop. One overward of Zerglings are left behind, but that's alright. So looks like France Car is gonna try to get his lurkers back in position to defend at the same time. Oh, this time. Drop. oh he's gonna, ready. He has is he gonna lose to one of these? Oh he does lose he one of the overlords that had overlord. a lurker and a couple of lings in it. Uh, but now the lurkers have to have Burrow to defend here at the natural. And Dirtybag doesn't have enough medics here and they're so out of energy and they were spending all their that time. <laughs> healing the SCVs and now Lurker's killing all of the barracks. The tech labs of the barracks are going down and uh, Dirty Bag is going to be out of production here really soon. And, he's and being he's forced, forced to pull back with the, with the uh, Dark Swarm over the workers as well. And the Scourge are chasing the science vessels. Maybe one will go down and it does. It does lose one. Forces the lift off on the barracks and one yeah. is on fire so it's probably going to end up going down. So there comes some more radiates here for the science vessels. We'll be able to take down looks like four of those Lurkers. So we will clean it up but Dirty bags are just in a really tough spot. Although, surprisingly, actually, the worker counts are very even. Um, of course, Franskar is establishing his fourth now. So, really nice economic lead here for Franskar. And there's a Dark Swarm of the Lurker shots! Oh my god! All uh, of the bio in the front goes down. There's nothing in these bunkers. Another Dark Swarm oh, comes they're down. Gonna go back to the, oh, here come the Lurkers. The lurkers are forced to hide in a corner, sadly. Yeah, and Dirty Bag just doesn't have the units to, to deal with this. I mean, he's got a few Marines. Yeah. And here come the Scourge. Scourge is going to come in here, going to try to get the all, hits off on the, the science vessels. Go down. There's no way they're going to survive here. Just overwhelming Zerg numbers. And work is in the base. Powers, and there's the GG. GG! Franskar takes game number one.